to not use any cooking oils, including the nutritional oils. And I never heard him explain why. Okay, that's a good question. Could you, could you yes. tell me? Yes, I will tell you. And, and first of all, I love Dr. Wallach. I've been following him for since the middle 90s, since 1995, 1996. He's one of my one of my nutritional mentors. I love the guy personally, uh, but I don't always agree with him, and I don't agree with him in this particular instance. But here's here's the thinking, and and his thinking, you know, it makes sense in a certain way. Oils are very unstable, and unstable is the enemy of nutrition. When you have an unstable food or an unstable supplement, that actually can create a lot more harm than good, and oils are incredibly unstable. The problem is, is instability in a nutrient is also related to energy and value. So oils, while they're very unstable, are also very highly energetic and very, very, very valuable. So it's kind of like you've you got to make a decision. Do I want to take a chance on incorporating some unstable molecules, putting some unstable molecules into my body, or do I want... A, do I want to take a chance on doing that, or do I want to avoid them and lose the value? I'm erring on getting them into my body and then working on stabilizing them. Dr. Wallach and a couple other people, including Dr. Glidden, feel like, well, it's not worth it's not worth taking a chance. I disagree because of their tremendous value. I also disagree because I've seen the results visually with my own eyes. I've seen my patients get on oils, get on the ultimate EFAs, get on nutritional oils. And, and by the way, Dr. Wallach feels like the capsules that contain the nutritional oil protect the oil from instability. So that's a little bit different than straight nutritional oils. But in any case, I've seen what they do. I've seen what liquid nutritional oils do to my clients. I've seen their skin improve. I've seen their menstrual cramps go away. I've seen the markers of degenerative disease start to improve when people use these things. So in combination with my understanding of these nutritional oils and how important they are for the body, I'm saying take them and use them, but just use them very carefully. Make sure they're fresh. Make sure they're keeping them in a cold place. Make sure they're kept out of the light. And make sure you're using vitamin E and selenium with your oil which can both of which can have especially the vitamin E that's vitamin E's main role is to protect oils uh, especially use vitamin E with your oils now many oils contain vitamin E vitamin E is found in oils nature mother nature the divine force protects oils naturally by using vitamin E but you can use supplemental vitamin E to protect from the oils that having been said you never want to cook an oil because that really accelerates the degener the degeneration of the oil with the exception of coconut oil and butter which both are very stable now, now, there are higher smoke point oils like macadamia nut oil and even olive oil that you can cook with, but I, I wouldn't burn them or cook them or use them at very high temperature. By the way, eggs and foods that contain oil, including fish, you don't want to cook those a lot either because you'll damage the oils also. So Dr. Wallach and a few other folks feel, and a lot of folks actually feel like, the oils uh, are damaged just by the light and just by oxygen and just by being oils. They're damaged and you want to, you don't want to use them. I feel like they have so much nutritional value that you do want to use them, but you want to make sure you use them very, very carefully. Uh, and you want to store them very carefully and you want to use nutritional supplements with those oils. Another problem with oils is the balance uh, of, of essential fats that are in the oils. As you know probably from listening to the program, there's two special essential fats. We call them omega-6s and omega-3s. Many of the oils that we eat are rich in omega-6s, but not so rich in omega-3s. That's because in nature and in the human body, there's lots more omega-6s than there are omega-3s. Omega-3s are, are in the body at maybe a third or even less of the uh, amount that omega-6s are. And in nature, most of the oils are going to be omega-6s, especially grain oils. Consequently, we get lots, 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 lots more omega-6s than we do omega-3s. And that's another problem with excess ingestion of vegetable oils. You get way more omega-6s than 3. So the two main problems are the instability of these oils. They produce free radicals. They contain free radicals. And instability and nutrition go uh, are, are, are opposites. They, they oppose each other. They antagonize each other. And then secondly, there's the balance issue where you get more omega-6s than omega-3s for most of the oils that we eat. The way I would, what I would say is use the oils, but use them extremely carefully. Make sure they're refrigerated. Make sure they're kept out of the, out of the light. Make sure they're kept away from oxygen, all of which can further destabilize the oils. Don't cook with them unless you're cooking with coconut oil and, uh, and or butter. And then, uh, and then use vitamin E and selenium and even alpha lipoic acid, which can all have protective benefits for, uh, can help protect the oils from going rancid. That's the technical term for a destabilized oil is rancidity. Uh, and these nutritional supplements can keep them from going rancid. Does that help you, Larry? 
Oh, yeah, very much. Thank Good you. Deal. All right. God bless. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Thank okay, you. let's go to David in California. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. Great show, of course. Thank you. Thank you. What's going um, on? I have a question. I've got a friend who is, you, you touched on it a second ago, uh, macular degeneration. Okay. Notice with it. And I heard the the lecithin and the vitamin E. Okay, and very important. Things and stuff. But what can she do? Okay, well, here's the deal. The, the key word in macular degeneration is not macular, it's degeneration. Right. And this is, it, it's just another way that the body breaks down. This is so important. In fact, if I had to pick a cornerstone philosophy of the bright side, it's the idea that the body breaks down systemically. And even if we see it in one part of the body, rest assured, the body's breaking down everywhere. What we want to do is not necessarily address the macula or the eyes. We want to address the degenerative process. The macula breaks down for the same reason everything else breaks down. A, a poor handling of blood, poor handling of sugar, accumulation of toxins, and low energy to a cell. So how do we handle that? Well, specifically, you want to handle for the for the eye because the eye is subject to a lot of activity from the light. You want to start using your antioxidant nutrients. Those are the most important nutrients for all degeneration, and especially for the macula because it's so it's subject to so much energy or so much attack from the light. It's in the eyes, obviously. So using uh, antioxidant nutrients. Nutrients, especially pigments, colored nutrients is the most important strategy for dealing with all degeneration, but especially for the macula. That means yellows, reds, blues, greens. Where do you get those pigments? Vegetables. Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. And there's a couple other neat sources of pigments, and I'll tell you what those are, David, when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. It's Tom Chenault from the Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 Eight three two six. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GC. On the bright side, got a couple more minutes to talk to you at 855-660-4261. David, in California, we're talking macular degeneration. David, you there, my friend? Okay, I think we got David. I hope we got David. Hope yeah, I am. Okay, good. So you want to consider that the entire body breaks down as a whole, even though you're only seeing it in the macula, which makes sense because the macula is subject to lots of attack from light. I don't want to say attack, but lots of energy from light. First thing you want to think about with macular degeneration is controlling blood sugar. The reaction between sugar and the macula is one of the causes of the degenerative process. So keeping your blood sugar stable, more protein, less insulin spiking foods, using your B vitamins, which are your major sugar metabolizing vitamins. Magnesium is very important. Uh, vitamin E can help. Vitamin E can help for the macula and the light as well as for sugar metabolism. Chromium, vanadium, the sweeties, very important. Most importantly, though, is restricting your intake of these kinds of foods, breads, pastas, cereals, processed carbohydrates. All processed carbohydrates are a problem, including fruit juice, etc. Then there's the pigment approach. The macula is a pigment, and uh, using pigments are really, really helpful for not just for the eyes, but also for the skin. Anything that's going to be helpful for your eyes is also going to be important for skin health, and pigments are important for both. That means reds and blues and greens. Uh, uh, you have uh, dark green leafy vegetables, which are wonderful sources of greens, as well as yellows, even though they don't, you can't see the yellow. Lutein, zeaxanthine, you've probably seen these names on eye, on eye vitamins. Uh, Longevity's got a great eye product called the Vision FX, uh, which also has some of these pigments in it. There's, other, uh, there's a product, Longevity product, that's a pigment powder, uh, and I forgot the name of it. I think it's called Ultimate Youth, and it's a pigment powder you can use. Anything with pigments is going to help. Spinach, kale, uh, even corn, which is high in sugar, but it's got some good pigments for the eyes. Uh, orange peppers, green peppers, uh, zucchinis, kiwi, squash. These are all good sources of pigments. Uh, and then also my favorite source of pigments for protecting the eyes and protecting the skin from the sun is algaes and chlorellas. Anything that lives on top of the ocean is going to have an ability to process the sun and sunlight. And we can get the advantage of that sunlight processing uh, chemistry by eating algae, eating chlorella, eating spirulina. Any of these kinds of foods are wonderful for protecting the eyes from, uh, protecting the eyes from breaking down, uh, for the, protecting the macula from breaking down. The macula is the center part of the eye. Uh, also, uh, N-acetylcysteine, which we talk a lot about on this program, selenium, very important for the eyes. And don't forget about vitamin A, which is important for all breakdown processes. Vitamin A stands for vitamin anabolic. Anabolic is chemistry talk for building. So vitamin A is your main building, anti-degenerative vitamin, and, of course, it's got a special role to play in eye health. Tons of great strategies for macular degeneration. But most importantly, you want to consider macular degeneration as just a symptom of the over 
overall breakdown process in the body. It's a leaf on the degenerative tree, on the tree of degeneration. It's just merely a leaf, and there's other leaves as well. And you want to take care of the trunk of the tree and the roots of the tree, and that involves protecting the body from the degenerative process in general. Of course, I didn't even tell you about the digestive system, but that always is job number one, uh, making sure your digestive system is operating pristinely. All right, Dave? The best source for vitamin A uh, supplemental sources, supplements, supplements are the best, but if you're going to go the food route, liver, uh, organ meats are your best sources of vitamin A. There's no vitamin A in plants, people. That's beta carotene, and it is not vitamin A. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, I don't know how you're going to get your